So, in the last class we were looking at uh, the frequency response of uh, some commonly used amplifier stages that we have dealt with and uh, so uh, we uh, looked at uh, the common source amplifier. And then we also looked at the common drain amplifier and uh, uh, we concluded yesterday that the bandwidth of the common drain amplifier is expected to be you know, much higher than that of the common source amplifier and uh, uh, intuitively that makes sense because uh, well uh, none of the nodes in the common drain amplifier are swinging, swinging very much. So, uh, uh, the parasitic capacitances of those nodes need to be charged and discharged only to a much smaller degree uh, and as a consequence uh, uh, the uh, 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 you I mean uh, since the currents pumping into those nodes are roughly the same it basically means that uh, uh, the uh, capacitor current uh, can be supported to a much higher frequency right without a loss of amplitude because C d v d t is the is the current flowing through the capacitors right you only have some some current some gm times something you, you can push into those nodes correct so if your uh, voltage swings are small that basically means that uh, uh, you can increase frequency and still be able to uh, uh, maintain a vo the same voltage uh, uh, you know for, for a given current uh, that's, that's basically that's pretty much all that there is to it now let's look at the common gate amplifier And uh, again, this is the small signal equivalent. CGS, and uh, this is some RL. This is uh, this is VX is minus g m times v x and uh, let us say the this is the input source and it has got some output resistance r s and perhaps uh, you know some capacitance uh, c s hmm? all right and uh, some load capacitance uh, say c m. And C G D and C drain to substrate as drain to bulk will be in parallel with C F, right. Uh, so, what comment can we make about uh, uh, C G D? Can you can we club it with any uh, any of the other capacitances? It can be clubbed with C L. So basically, uh, when I say C L, it includes includes C D B and C G D. Okay, and uh, so what comment can you make about V X? And likewise, uh, by the way, uh, what comment can you make about uh, CGS? Can we club it with something else? Very good. So, basically, this includes, so this to the 4, you can club this and say so this includes CGS. So, what comment can you make about VX? What is Vx? Yeah. Okay. What is the what is the impedance looking in there? 
1 over g n ok. So, what is V x? For d c what is it? Yeah, right. For d c it is nothing but uh, one over. So it's basically one over gm in parallel with rs. All right, and uh, as frequency varies, what will the voltage be? One plus s into C s times one over GM parallel R s. Okay. So uh, V O of S by V X of S therefore is simply seen to be GM times R L. So, what is the output voltage therefore? S C L R L. Okay. So, what is the, the uh, V O by I S therefore? What is the DC gain? Basically, 1 over GM times RS over 1 over GM plus RS. That is the formula for two parallel resistors. Very nice. Okay, this times GM RL, this divided by 1 plus SCL RL times 1 plus S C S times 1 over G M parallel R S and uh, you know to first uh, ok. So, I will just write the whole expression then we can approximate ok. So, what is this now? This and this go away and uh, uh, so, you have R S over R S plus 1 over G M. So, under the uh, usual condition that if you want to build a good common gate amplifier, what comment can we make? Okay. G m R s is much much larger than 1 which basically means that R s is much much larger than 1 over G m. So, in which case this uh, this quantity approximately equal to 1 all right ok. And what comment uh, can you make about that? 1 over gm parallel R s what which will dominate? So, if you have two large uh, two resistors in parallel and one is much larger than the other. So, uh, what is this uh, 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 how do you approximate this 1 over gm parallel R s? This is basically this over gm. So, this approximately R L over 1 plus S C L R L times 1 plus S C S over G M. Okay. Uh, so, in the special case that C L is 0, so you like are only pumping the output goes and feeds only a resistive load right. Then uh, you you are basically getting the inherent speed of the of the common gate amplifier right uh, in this way and if C s becomes uh, 0 right. In other words, the, the C s remember includes uh, the contribution from the source as well as C g s right. So, if the contribution from the source itself becomes 0, then the only thing left in C s is C g s. So, you can see that just like in the common source uh, I mean common drain amplifier, uh, this becomes C g s by g m. All right. So, this basically is a you know uh, 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 this is uh, typically going to be much larger uh, that time constant is going to be much smaller than than C L times R ok. And again that makes sense uh, which of these nodes is uh, charging up and down a lot this one or this one 
yeah basically uh, i mean uh, the uh, the swing at the at the at the source the incremental swing at the source is is very small right uh, i mean ideally if gm tends to infinity that swing is zero correct and uh, uh, but uh, uh, that current is getting converted into a voltage at the drain and therefore that voltage is going to be swinging a lot and consequently you know uh, the speed limitation is going to come from from that you understand okay so uh, finally let's take a quick look at the trans impedance amplifier Okay, I am not going to sit and do a full blown analysis, I leave it to you as an exercise. Okay, uh, quick intuitive analysis what is the time constant associated with CGS? You have a capacitor, what will be the time constant associated with that capacitor? Yeah, uh, calculate the equivalent uh, uh, you know uh, impedance, uh, you know uh, resistance across the, that capacitor. What is the input impedance of the uh, you know in the, in the form that I have we have drawn it? What comment can we make about the uh, input resistance? 1 over gm. So, what comment can we make about uh, uh, what do you call uh, uh, the, uh, the time constant associated with uh, the with CGS? CGS by gm, right. So, there will be you should expect if you do go and do the full blown math, you should expect to see a, a pole at CGS by gm, right. Uh, and uh, you should also expect to see another pole at uh, 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 corresponding to CL and what will that time constant be? What is the output resistance looking here? Yeah, so basically, if uh, uh, you yank this node up by a delta, the same voltage appears here because no current flows through the R. What is the current that will flow here? GM times V test, and that is basically this output res uh, resistance is 1 over GM. So, so, what comment can you make about the time constant associated with CL? CL over yeah, right. So, you basically get uh, a, a pole at uh, 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 gm over cgs, another pole at gm over cl, ok. Uh, to summarize therefore, uh, the uh, every gain stage basically is associated with at least at least one pole. Right. So, for example, if you cascade a common source amplifier with a common drain amplifier, what comment can you make about the bandwidth? Which of these stages will limit the bandwidth? The common source amplifier, right. And uh, 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 so, as a uh, you know, as a consequence, therefore, uh, you should expect to see that you know, if you uh, uh, when you try to cascade uh, you know multiple amplifiers, each stage that gives you gain, right voltage gain, I mean why are, we, why are we cascading stages in the first place, right, to get high gain, all right. And uh, you know why, why are we getting uh, and, uh, and uh, when we have a high gain stage, each high gain stage has at least one pole, right. If you, I mean you know we saw that in reality if you go and do the math for the common source amplifier, we see that you have two poles right and uh, uh, but then you know uh, if you try to have a, you, you can approximate those uh, uh, to first approximation uh, you can simply uh, uh, add the two uh, poles basically simply because if you have the, the intuition behind that is that basically if you have a system which is 1 plus uh, s by p1 times 1 plus s over p2 right at low frequencies this is approximately equal to 1 over s times 1 over p1 plus 1 over p2 ok i mean this is simply saying that if you have, i mean uh, uh, you know you know uh, if you have uh, uh, two nodes uh, and uh, each node is associated with the time constant right uh, uh, the uh, roughly the time constant of the entire system is some of the time constants of the individual nodes hmm? ok 
so this is basically so to first order basically you can think uh, think of every high gain stage is being at least having at least one pole right so now if you cascade i don't know i mean you, if you say well it's so easy to get high gain i can just go on cascading common source amplifiers right so what comment can we make about the uh, the gain of a cascade uh, in the gain of cascade of course the dc gain keeps increasing but each uh, uh, additional common source stage uh, introduces a, a new pole and uh, you know all these poles are roughly at the same have the same uh, uh, order of magnitude right okay i mean if you take two identical common source amplifiers and cascade them you have you know uh, uh, i mean if you uh, make sure that the loading of the second one is the same as the first then uh, you will find that both of them have the have the same pole all right so if you uh, if you cascade the multiple po stages you will have multiple poles hmm? uh, so now the question is and of course uh, you know that an op amp uh, uh, you know uh, is never uh, intended to be operated in without feedback right it's never be intended to operate in uh, in open loop so when uh, you you take a high gain amplifier and you close the loop uh, we have to make sure that yeah, the system is actually stable right and that's uh, 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 that's what we are going to see 